Good morning to all of my submarines. I am so excited to be doing this video for you guys. Uh, this is a second parter to a video that I have already done. However, I wanted it to be a little bit more fluent. Uh, the first video I did was a little bit sillier and I just wanted to make sure that people got where I was coming from and that people could look at this video and really say, hey, this helped me and hey, this gave me a better gauge of kind of where I am uh, in this process. So this video is essentially uh, just getting comfortable with yourself. So I figured what better place to do it than in my bed. <laughs> uh, so I thought we could talk. Uh, essentially, this video is about getting comfortable with yourself when you're coming out um, and the pros to coming out because I feel like there are so many things that are so scary when you're considering being true to yourself and being your true being. Um, now, I just want to state that I think your sexuality is such a small, minuscule part of yourself, but it's also something that is very uh, intrusive of kind of evolving into who you are. I always found that not coming out and holding myself back was always kind of a wall. So I, I don't know why I'm getting emotional all of a sudden. Um, but it just, it prevented me from, you know, strong, healthy relationships. It prevented me from finding love and finding someone that I could connect to. It prevented, you know, a lot of things. It just, it got in the way of how I could focus on things like school and where I wanted to go in life because I was, you know, I looked at my future and I was like, I don't see a future. Like, I don't know if I, I didn't know if I wanted one um, because I was just so bothered with who I was. Um, and it was just so draining. <laughs> and I can imagine people who are, because I started my journey. I started um, finding my truth when I was about 18. Um, I mean, I've, I've always known, but I had always denied it up to that point. Like, I was like, no, no, no. I'd go to church. I would pray for it to go away. Like, I was very destructive. Um, and I was my own worst enemy. Like, if I were to look back and I were to say, hey, who was the most offensive in my coming out? Who did I have the most trouble with when it came to coming out? And it was myself. Like, there is no greater um, villain, I guess, in my experience. It was myself. I was very self-hating. Um, and that's not to say I, I hated other people like me. I just... I, I just didn't like it for myself. I was just uncomfortable. You know, my upbringing was always, and this is not any way me flagging my parents or anything, but my upbringing was very religious. Um, and the thought of being homosexual or, or anything along that line was very, it was just n no. Um, so that's just what I was used to, that's what I, I grew up with, so I internalized that and I felt very wrong, um, which really, um, it held me back, like, it, it was just this heavy weight, um, that just, it just held me back, and that's another reason that I got this tattoo, I refuse to sink, I feel like I've always had something as we all do, that kind of just weighs you down. And the feeling of releasing that and letting yourself rise is so amazing. Um, it's, it's incredible. Because like I was saying, um, sexuality is just a very small part of who you are. You know, and I was saying relationships and all that stuff. With me, I felt that my relationships weren't healthy because my relationships had a foundation of lies. Like, I wasn't being honest with myself, um, which was probably the biggest, and I wasn't being honest with 
my friends and my family and it's just kind of bottled up for such a long time and it created this very irrational kind of fire in me. I was I was very angry and I was very upset and I was very depressed. In fact, I tried to act on this. Um, and I feel and I feel like I've always been very blessed to have I feel someone had always had me in their thoughts to the point where when I wanted to act on something, I I would never go that full length because I had so many people that I loved and loved me. Um, and some people don't get to see that and don't realize that they have that, even though they do. Um, but yeah, no, it's just, it just, it was toxic and my anger and my resentment was always misdirected as well. Um, and people didn't understand it. Like my relationships, my relationship with my mom was a big one. Like it was super strained. Um, she would always ask me what was wrong. She'd always want to get, you know, have a conversation with me and I would never have it. Like I was just very defensive. I was very angry and, you know, we did have a relationship. My mom is probably the closest person in my life, but it was so strained and it was very hard too, because I knew how she felt about, you know, um, sexuality and um, religion and everything. So it was very hard for me to develop a relationship knowing how she felt about a part of who I was. And I knew that it was there, but I was just pushing it back. And I'm like, you know what, I'm just not going to focus on it. I'm just not going to imagine that it's there. I'm just going to pretend it's gone. I'm going to close my eyes and I'm just going to blindly go through life. And it was, it was always there. It was always, and I, and I would always hit something because I wasn't allowing myself to see. And, um, you know, that was, that was the biggest one. Relationships. They were just unhealthy. Uh, another one is I couldn't focus because I was so focused on my sexuality that I couldn't focus on other things in my life, like my school or my relationships or my, you know, what I wanted to do. Because, sure, this was a big part. Like, I would go, like, I would go and I would, I would date people, I would date with girls, and I would, you know, try to experiment that way and see how I felt about that and it was always just it was so awful because I'd have to date someone and I'd be like no this is not right and then I'm like maybe it's them maybe like we're not right so I would go through relationships and I hate hurting people but I would always have to date someone and then be like oh like a couple days later sorry when things started to kind of get serious because things do I mean especially when you're teenagers and we all want things so it wasn't fair to them and it was just it was hard um, and I hated that, like, I hated that part of me, and I lost relationships because of it, I lost good friendships, so, um, it's just a strain, so, I'd say the best parts to coming out are building healthy relationships, um, being able to focus on other parts of your life, and, um, another huge one for me is my relationships, uh, with my friends, finding out who was really true and who wasn't, uh, and the good thing is, and I know this is a really hard one, um, for people to kind of go through and to imagine in your mind, because when you're, when you're really close to someone, um, you can't see your life without them, but sometimes these people, are just as messed up as you are and they have problems going on and they're internalizing it and there's, you know, things going on that they're misdirecting to you. Or maybe they grow up in a family where they are taught that your lifestyle or the way that you feel is wrong. So you have to look at it this way, that some people are just toxic for you uh, in that point of your life. It's not to say that these people aren't meant to be in your future. But 
some people just aren't meant to be in the now. And I found that there were a lot of people, uh, actually there weren't a lot of people, there were some people that I had to just say, hey, you know, you're taking advantage of how I'm feeling right now and the emotions that I'm going through because a lot of these relationships um, were actually good when I came out, but just because someone is accepting of who you are and your sexuality, or at least saying that they are, doesn't mean that you can let everything else slide. Like, these people know what you're going through, and if they're taking advantage of your feelings and um, how you are, because when you first come out, it's, there's just so many things, like, you're realizing, like, people were okay with this, but I was internalizing this for so long, and I could have been free so long ago, and, um, on the other side, you're coming to terms with the fact that some people are going to take longer, um, but they still love you, like, when I told my parents, I told them, hey, like, you know, I think I came out to my mom first as bisexual because it was easiest for me and my aunt. And then eventually, like, I fully came out. And then for my dad, I just straight out came out. And for them, like I said, they were very religious. So the first thing that they made sure to say, which I think is absolutely amazing. And I think any parent who is watching this and is concerned for their child, you know, it's obviously it's a scary thing. You never know how other people are going to take it. But what's going to be the best for your child to hear is that you love them no matter what, um, which my parents did say, and I give them huge gold stars for that, um, and just kind of, like, hear them out. So my parents did do that. Mind you, again, they're very religious, so, you know, obviously they were already already trying to find solutions for it and things like that. And that, I won't lie, that that hurt. But I knew they loved me regardless. And whichever way this was going to go, they loved me. So that was the most important. And one thing that you have to realize um, if you're coming out is your parents are just hearing about this. And whether they had a feeling about it or not, you've had to deal with this for so many years. Like I myself had to deal with this for 18 years. I had 18 years of my life to be sorted to get this sorted and to understand how I felt about it and to really develop with it whereas your parents they have to do this really quick because they love you and they want to make sure that they're not straining their relationship but at the same time they have to rationalize with themselves and say how am I going to deal with this this isn't in our present day this isn't something extremely normal it's very common but and we're so blessed for that in this day and age, but it's not something that, you know, when you're having a child, you're like, oh, like, I can't wait to meet my son's husband. You know what I mean? Like, these are things that are completely changing the way that they looked at your future. And it takes time. And it's very selfish to think otherwise. Um... It's understandable because right away you just want to be able to talk to your parents and just have them understand and just unbottle all of this. Um, but that's a great reason to have friends because generally your friends are the family that you pick. And if you picked well, then these people are all all for it. Like my coworkers were amazing. My best friend is amazing. Like I have different places where I can go. Um, and that's amazing. My parents weren't one of them right away. However, they were still always there and they were happy that I let them know. At least I know my mom was, um, <laughs> but that's another story. Uh, but yeah. And yeah, so it just takes time. So honestly, the pros here are, I think they outweigh, they outweigh any of the negative. Um, because like I said in the other video that I did, that wasn't quite as serious. You may not be taking this whole weight off of your shoulders at once because it's something that's gradual, I feel, at least. It's something that you deal with yourself and your friends and you're gradually kind of piecing things together. Like, you're finding out who is true in your life. You're finding out more about yourself. You're letting yourself live a true, authentic life. Um, 
And you're not trying to blend in anymore. You're just trying to figure it out because you've put yourself back quite a few years. And now you're trying to narrow in like, okay, you know, I've got my sexuality out there. What do I want to do with life? Where do I want to go? Like, I want to travel. Like, I want to do all these fun, exciting things. But now I can do it as me and I don't have to pretend anymore. So I don't have to half ass everything <laughs> for lack of a better term like everything can be authentic so that's great and you're taking off these weights so you're starting to be able to breathe and it's so amazing and it takes time but when you start to get there and you start to get to that point it is it's the most fantastic thing and it's I can't even explain it and like I said in my other video you just like free up so much space in your closet that you were in like you can do whatever you can just go to town on shopping and fill in that closet up because you're no longer taking up space in there and you're good and you're happy or at least getting there and um i just i hope the best for anyone who's watching this video and i hope that you one day get to feel the way that i feel um because it's so liberating and it's so, it's just so amazing. And I've met so many fantastic people and the relationships that I've been able to make are the most honest relationships I've ever had. And I'm so blessed every day. So I just want that for you. And I want you to know that that cheesy, stupid saying it gets better is so true because it's it so does and you know it'll get there at whatever pace it will and you know you have to do it when you're comfortable but uh yeah anyways i kind of cycled through the same kind of facts and everything again but yeah <laughs> So I hope you guys have an excellent day and I hope that you get to live your true selves and yeah, love you all very much and good luck on your journeys and I can't wait to see how amazing your futures become. So hope you guys share in the down bar your experiences if you have already gone through this and if you haven't then honestly like come here talk to me i'm here for you and i hope that anyone else who's going through this who sees your message can be there as well and we can all just kind of create this comfortable place like i want this to be cozy for you guys i want this to be somewhere where you're safe and you can feel all right with yourself and just feel yeah just just safe i want you guys to feel safe and yeah, let's talk. <laughs> Bye guys. Have a good one.